Hi everyone, welcome back to my movie review. I'm Mike and today I want to talk about The Disaster Artist. What a thoroughly interesting story. And to be honest, I didn't really know what I was going to be watching as I hadn't read about the film before and I didn't really know what it was actually going to be about. I definitely waited too long before actually watching it. And being a big James Franco fan, I naturally wanted to, wanted to see it since it came out but didn't get around to for one reason or another. Basically, I've been missing out for the last three years. So the story in a nutshell. Tommy and Greg, they're aspiring filmmakers, they move to LA for stardom. Using Tommy's money, they make a movie called The Room. Tommy and Greg, of course, played by James and Dave Franco. The film follows Tommy's crazy ideas and filmmaking techniques to get this film made to his exact specification and direction. Throughout the process, he gets in arguments and disagreements uh, with his cast and crew, mainly over his demanding filming conditions, techniques, and the quality of work he's trying to create. Throughout the film, Tommy rubs up many people the wrong way. They take advantage of him and ultimately agree to make his movie as long as they're going to get paid, which unbelievably they do, which surprises them all. The film concludes with the film The Room getting finished and everybody going to a premiere, which a fair amount of people turn up to, which I think surprises a lot of them. It receives a very different reaction than was intended, but generally people liked it. So that's the story in a nutshell, not too complicated, which was great. And yes, it does sound like a very, you know, quote, Hollywood movie, given the basic plot and the fact that it's about making a movie. But don't be fooled by this. It's not what you think and has many interesting turns along the way. Let's start with the performances. I mean, they were all fantastic. James and Dave Franco in the leads, really great. I mean, I think we would have expected that anyway, given their history and the, and the work they've done in the past. And all the other smaller characters, Seth Rogen, really good, Alison Brie, and so many of the others helped deliver a greatly crafted movie that you just wouldn't expect. One thing you wouldn't believe is true is the actual story and the way James played it. His portrayal is so wild and you may be put off in the first 10-15 minutes, but please do stick with it until the end. His performance is done for a reason, and that isn't to demonstrate a weird and strange performance, just to show that he can do it. Now you won't see this till some comparison scenes at the end where they've matched up bits that we see in The Disaster Artist to those you see in the film The Room that was actually made. Here it definitely becomes clear how even more exciting this film is, given you can see how closely it follows the actual story, thus enforcing once again how good and on point the performance from James Franco really was. So the tone of the movie, even though it does have some comedic moments, it's not all laughs along the way. You really do see his life troubles and what he wants to achieve by making this movie. And it's clear that the reason behind everything is a sad past that Tommy's had, as well as a lost love. You know, this gets clearer as the film progresses, showing how he's been struggling deeply and dealing with a loss. Sadly, this affects everyone around him, how he makes the movie and the end result. Now, I don't want to give away too much about the film as it really has to be seen to be believed. But if you want an unbelievable story, love filmmaking and Hollywood, then this is a must watch. And please don't be put off by the first 15 minutes. You'll be rewarded at the end, I promise you. One thing you'll do as soon as you finish watching The Disaster Artist is you'll want to go and watch The Room to see how outrageous it actually was. The Room, of course, is now considered a cult classic and has since paid for itself, which is utterly unbelievable. Now, I've been out to Hollywood and I've worked on film sets in the UK and the US and experienced some interesting, shall we say, filming conditions and, and techniques, but none compared to this, I promise you. And one other interesting question you ask yourself after this film is where did all the money come from to fund making the room? Who knows? So do go and see this movie, it really is worth it. And thank you very much for tuning in. That's The Disaster Artist. I'll see you next time.